Isn't that sweet? So what do you think? Heart wrenching. Um. Well, it's like it, it's completely the opposite to the kind of stuff I like. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's it not too, a sad don't too like soppy it. and romantic. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> But I, I think it's weird how these two kids are, like, capable of having an adult <laughs> relationship. But, like, but it's not adult, is it? They what? kiss once, and then the rest of it is about watching a film. Yeah. Do you not think that's yeah. quite... And Lucy's kidding? quite a little bit of a... Tease. Provocatrix. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She says, like, that whole line about that Peter's like Lucy's. Yeah. <laughs> but she's meant to be slightly older than Peter, so... Uh, yeah, but not like in ten years. <laughs> <laughs> no, not ten years, because that's weird. Um, no. But, I yeah. Say. But girls are weird. I so was it funny? I thought it was funny. I thought, yeah. Thank yeah. you. Especially knowing you. Yeah. <laughs> what, because of the... the James the Bond references. Oh, right, yeah. 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 Um, well, in yeah, in case you didn't know, Ben's a maniac for James Bond. I think anyone who reads Pi would know that because yeah. there's a lot of articles in James, <laughs> James Bond, Bond on yeah. Pi yeah. 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 <laughs> but yeah, I, I liked it. Like I said, I think um, I think some of the language was a bit too adult. Yeah, but, um, I'd agree with that. What What do you think are some of the challenges of that? Right, like when you were writing that, how did you did you just sort of lower your intelligence and write? Well, no, definitely. Yeah, if anything, I needed more intelligence to write oh, kids. Really? Yeah, because yeah. you have to completely change your style you're writing in, and you have to find, you have to basically have something happening every sentence, mm. otherwise you'll lose the interest. Whereas an adult might be like, oh, set the scene for me. A mm. kid just wants to go into great in mood, atmosphere. <laughs> yeah, yeah man, like, you just got to have moment, moment, moment. Like you're not going in the city. The <laughs> the papers swirled and the cans rolled on the ground and the man <laughs> walked down the alley. No, it's, it's more like, yeah. well, like you said, yeah. I would love to do a novel a on no- something like a, that. A children's novel. A children's novel. Oh, no, novella. I, I, I don't think I could go as far as a novel. How long is a novella? I'll have to find that out. But yeah. Novella always sounds like a disease to me. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've got novella. A disease <laughs> of being unable to write a full novel yeah it's <laughs> like you have both never really written at all <laughs> like, yeah that's well, true never even well you've tried I've tried many times how did failed how did Nana Rango go for you um, it's actually defeated me now at uh, 19,000 ish oh, words so I was only 19,000 yeah. oh, that's a lot I was like, only 31,000 sh- short at the time oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah my <laughs> Maybe not all My average at the end of the month was around 400 words a day. The only, a shame. the only way I could ever complete a novel, I think, was if I managed to convince myself that I had written something, <laughs> not, not even something that would sell well, something that in future generations would pick up in universities and be like, this is an artistic expression of the 21st century. You'd want it to be absolutely perfect. I, I'd need it, yeah, to be like... Yeah. You know, I'm like hoping that will happen with my yeah. um, the philosophy of social interaction. Oh, music. oh yeah, you're. A but I haven't <laughs> got very far at that at the moment. I've got to cram a lot of ideas into yeah. that one poem. Because I'm, I'm sure it's going to be book three of Half Open Eyes, which is my new anthology coming out in 2013. Three? You've got different books. Yeah, there's some. Um, there's four books. Well, um, the only thing I'm really properly working on, which I've got a bit of a vision going on for at the moment that I'm actually, you know, writing, is um my my poetry sort of anthology slash thing project called uh, Poetry for the Common Man which is all about oh yeah your preface yeah. you wrote oh recently, yeah the, what did you think of that yeah I like, it's I like good. it I will yeah. uh, next week I'll read it out yeah as, we'll have a reading from Jack's new anthology when would your anthology come out uh, some sometime within you know my life what if Pi commissioned you commissioned me I don't know. If you had it done by a certain date, we'd publish it. You could be in the annual, the 2013 annual. Yeah, I just want to talk about the annual for a second, because the annual is a big thing. In 2012, February, we released a 90-page annual, which was extremely successful, both Very in how successful. it looked yeah. and in terms of finance, which surprised us a lot, considering it's quite expensive. But uh, we're going to do another one in 2013 that's going to be bigger, better, bolder, and probably slightly more expensive. And <laughs> considering that we're in Basel University on a creative writing course, and also an English yeah. literature course, I think this one's probably going to move more units as well, surely. Yeah, and probably yeah. better writing as well. Yeah, yeah. obviously. And we're going to get as many of you lot out there involved as possible, because Pi, after all, 
opportunity, achievement, entertainment. Exactly. The mission statement. <laughs> and this can provide all three of those things for you. Yeah. Whether you write, market, design, or art. just read. Yeah. yeah. Readers are important too. Never, never doubt yourself, readers. Yeah. Because you're you're the point of everything we do. <laughs> <laughs> because money is the point of everything we do, and you give us the. But money. also recognition. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. pie didn't actually earn that much money. Yeah. Just to throw that out there. Yeah. <laughs> so many donations. Um, but if anyone does want to sponsor or donate, there is a section on our website. <laughs> not that I want. To, <laughs> not that I want to turn the podcast into an advertisement, but flipping out, do it. Woo, <laughs> woo. But yeah. I like money. Well, no, I don't. I like opportunity. Woo. Right, Ben. Ben. Yep. I think it's time for our weekly segment when we talk about our lovely Cornish angel Laura for a bit. Yeah, I think it is. Well, Laura's here at the moment. Uh, in the vineyard of a lovely bedroom. <laughs> uh, there's a, yeah, you know the plant. Oh yeah, the there, there's like a a strange plant that just sort of hangs from a shelf. I'm not sure if it's alive or dead or whether it's supposed to look like I that. I think it's alive. Just yeah. In a weird. <laughs> yeah, but you know when you take a holiday, you go to the Amazon rainforest. You look at how wonderfully amazing and intriguing everything is. That is Laura embodied on the <laughs> growth of the earth. If you could grow a Laura. You'd have to go to the most beautiful place <laughs> on Earth. <laughs> when the planets are yeah. like perfectly aligned. Yeah. And, yeah. and then the birds would have to tweet to get a sensual voice yeah. growing from her oh. Cornish pasty roots. It is beautiful. <laughs> Truly. It is lovely. There's actually a shining light in this yeah. room. Whoa. Every time our sound producer sits us down for the podcast. Yeah. We feel enlightened every week. And it is a case of sits us down. Like, yeah. It's she not a case of we willingly do it <laughs> we will do it every week yeah. just for you guys at home yeah and we will improve your rating when you actually decide <laughs> to send it in that was definitely good send it <laughs> <laughs> we're looking forward to it anyway <laughs> but our writing's improving so yeah. <laughs> and it's all because of you no it's not it's because of people in our seminars so thank yeah. you Bath Spa University I know I've made some jokes but you're not bad. <laughs> You're not, yeah. The face of it isn't bad, I suppose. No. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. This morning, though, I was pretty furious. Why? What happened this morning? Because I got to the bus stop in town. Yeah. Now, Bath, Bath bus station it was a wretched hive of scum and villainy. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm like, it's fine. It's not university. We're loving the university this week. No, Bath bus station is a horrific place. It's full of chavs and old people. And <laughs> old people? <laughs> What's wrong with old people? Oh, nothing but... Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to go into this. But um, <laughs> basically, a 15 bus, an empty 15 bus, yeah. drove past us all at the bus station. Why? Because the bus driver was clearly either blind, and he shouldn't have been driving, or more likely, a... <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Let's <laughs> just get it and edit it. But yeah, <laughs> and let's laugh. Oh, no. <laughs> no, slacking off Laughing the is good first <laughs> bus station, which will on. Don't provoke our bus passes. Oh, anyway. So, um, sort of. <laughs> um, yeah, we hope you've enjoyed the podcast this week. The podcast. Yeah, it's, it's been so. quite serious this week, but it's good to get yeah. some actual creative writing feedback out there now because, and again. Because last week we weren't really in tune no. with our usual selves. And last um, week we had a bit of a domestic. You could probably tell if you did listen to it that it was slightly um, cobbled together. <laughs> yeah. So, but not this week. No, so I this, hope you enjoyed this week this should week. be a yeah. good edit. Yeah, and we'll see you next week for more creative writing stuff and please do send in your stuff like always the contact details are below the video and um, you know boys and girls have a good week yeah so it's bye from me editor in chief founder managing director comedian producer love doctor Ben Franks and it's goodbye from me general lout Jack Tricky <laughs> <laughs>